So what's the deal? Move your finger, man. <laughs> so what's the deal? Huh? Why do you gotta go and make things complicated? Why do you gotta do that? Why do you gotta go back and reinvent the wheel? <laughs> Are you such a genius? <laughs> really? Are you such a genius the world was just waiting for you to reinvent the wheel? Yeah, it was. No, it's, it's, even, it's even worse than that. It's not reinventing the wheel. It's reinventing God. Oh, what do we call God? How do we write down the name of God? Well, look in the Bible for a clue. <laughs> How do we f refer to God? Oh, let's go back to the Old Testament. <laughs> Christians are going back to the Old Testament to figure out how do we address God? Well, nice try. I mean, yeah, I know. I So they pick out a word, they pick out a name, Yahweh. Okay, they go back to the Hebrew translation, the, the, the Greek translation, the... Uh, they go back to some other translation. They pick out uh, Yahweh. Oh, what about El? El means God. So why do you have to write down G-D when G-O-D, <laughs> if you've ever read the Bible, <laughs> maybe you didn't notice, <laughs> you didn't notice G-O-D is in the Bible, but they want to reinvent the wheel. They've got to find it. A more correct version. Fine, do that. Whatever floats your boat, baby. But don't force it on people. Don't dictate. Don't say this is the way. Come on. What are you, silly? What are you, nuts? <laughs> you're confusing. You're confusing. You're, you're you're dealing in confusing people. The mind. People are confused. You know what you're doing? You know what you're bringing to the table? Ob obsessive compulsiveness. <laughs> you're bringing your disorder or something like a disorder doing a pharisaical thing. Okay, now, listen. Yes, let's, let's, let's make an attempt here. Let's propose, propose a, uh, a solution, an answer. If you look at the Lord's Prayer, which I have been doing for couple of years at least. How does it start out? Okay, okay, let's go back even before. Now this is from the New Testament. So sorry, I don't think you'll find this in the Old Testament. And it was quite unusual for, for that day and time. Uh, it was quite a break. Jesus in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, when he was asked by his disciples, how do we pray? How do we pray? And, and, you know, you know you, you've learned in Sunday school how to pray. Well, you know, they, for some reason, some reason, I don't know what their reasoning was, why they needed to know, but apparently some people we all want to know what's the correct 
We want to be so correct. Jesus was not about this. Jesus was not about being correct in a strict, strict legalistic sense. So what does he say? I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be short. I'll be quick. He says, "Our Father." Wow! Just blew everyone away and made lots of legalistic people angry. You're calling God your father? Oh, that's wrong. You can't say that. So, there you have it. This, this should, but I know it won't, settle the argument. How do we pray? How do, what, how do we address God? What name do we call him? You know, there, I've, you know, I've heard, I'm not making this up. There are, there are, I've heard at least two, three, four, five. A rabbi uh, who wrote for a newspaper uh, refusing to use the, zero, the O when he spelled out God. The rabbi. Obviously studied the Torah, studied the Bible, and I guess he means to correct <laughs> all those translators, all those copyists, all those folks that use the O in the word God.